funny. I found, actually my wife found it, you know, one of these books you write down some ideas of where you see yourself in 10 years and it was probably when I was 30 years old, uh, I had something written in a book that, just a little journal that, I, that I'd kept that uh, in 10 years I'd, I'd like to start my own business. And she found that and pulled that out and that was right after I'd started this business. So it was really uh, exciting to see that. And I think I missed that time frame by about one year. A good friend of mine owns a couple of civil engineering firms and I reached out to him and said, hey man, I'm really thinking about going into business for myself. What do you think? He said, man, I've been waiting on you to call me. So started my company in 2016. We took off and so he was my business partner and we knew we could do it. We just had to uh, keep our head up and keep, keep pushing through. But once we got through all of that, you know, the market was good, the economy was good, business was good. It was just a matter of keeping up with the cash and keeping our arms wrapped around everything. So the end of last year, I was able to buy him out. So that was a, that was a good, good opportunity for both of us. So it was a great partnership and he's one of my best friends. You know, when we first started, we were just renting, but then we wanted to get into newer equipment. Man, I've been around Komatsu equipment for 25 years, I would say, and we would always have, you know, good experiences with Komatsu equipment. You know, they do a good job, it's good equipment, and most importantly, the equipment is, is doing what it's supposed to be doing and performing very well. On the Komatsu equipment, we've jumped in on some 320 loaders. Those have supplemented some of the other loaders that we've had from other manufacturers. They're doing really good. Loaders, for the most part, are pretty darn bulletproof. We, we really haven't run across any issues with any of our, our loaders, which has been fantastic. Recently, we purchased 475. 475's been out in the field for two to three months. It's done great, same thing. Haven't had any issues with it. And then we have the 360 Tracos, which have been great machines for us. And then we've got the HM400s. The HM400s have been fantastic. Uh, they've been great off-road trucks for us. Just we've had them for almost two years now. Man, and they're, they're autopilot, man. I don't have to worry about anything on them. So they've been really good trucks. Really, really good trucks. No issues at all. We've got some D71 dozers that are out there now that are doing really well. The 71s are the newly introduced machines into our fleet. The 71s have come out there and just really filled that spot for us where we can final grade with them if we wanted to. Uh, we can do a little bit of everything with them. They're quick, they have a good footprint on them, and they've got a lot of power behind them. Our relationship with Kirby Smith is fantastic. They service equipment well, so product support is good. Equipment delivery is good. You know, we're, we're able to get the pieces of equipment that we need and you know, we're not being told, we'll get in line and maybe you get something next year. So we feel like there's more of a personal aspect to it than just being another number in, in, uh, in a huge corporation. I mean, obviously they're a, a large company, but you know, you still have that, that uh, feeling that you're, you're being treated personally. And um, that, that's very important to us.